going on guys right now we're going to give you a quick test to see if you can identify or tell the difference between an asset versus a liability and here's what we're going to do to give you your test we're going to choose between my three cars and you're going to tell me between those three cars which one is an asset and which one is a liability so take a walk with me right now we're at my house Forget this car right here. <laughs> but here are my three cars. I got a minivan. I got a full-size Range Rover. And I got a Porsche. Okay? So remember, here's your test. I got three cars. And we're going to figure out which one, only one in my case, is an asset. The other two are liabilities. So here we go. We got minivan, we got Range Rover, we got Porsche. Tell you what, we'll even take a moment to uncover. I need a new cover anyway, but we're gonna take a minute. And we're gonna remove the cover, give you a better look at the Porsche. So there you go. You got a Porsche, you got a Range, you got a minivan. And now, I'm, I'm actually I'm going to help you out here. I'm actually going to give you a clue. We're going to look inside the Porsche. All right. We're going to go up to the Range. We're going to look inside there. We're going to look inside there. You're, you're taking notes. What did you see inside of those cars? Now we're going to go up to my minivan, which is locked. Got to use the key. I don't, it, it, it doesn't even have a key fob. All right. But when we start to open the doors on this thing, now you start seeing something inside, right? Okay, we'll open this one. We'll start looking inside of this minivan. And let's look at what you see here. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> and, uh, that's... <laughs> so... Now, now you got to make your choice. Minivan, Range, or Porsche? And the answer is the minivan. This is the asset. The other two are liabilities. Now, we're going to get into the reasons why, but real quick, we're going to take Robert Kiyosaki's definition of an asset versus a liability, and it's very simple. An asset puts money in your pocket. A liability takes money out of your pocket, okay? I use this van to make money, and we're going to get into exactly how I do that uh, momentarily. But the point is this. With this old Mazda minivan, I actually make money because I use it in order to get goods, okay? These two cost me money. I gotta pay for the gas, I gotta pay for the insurance, I gotta pay for the maintenance. They're sitting here, I hardly even drive them. Those are liabilities. Now, that's in my case. I could turn those into assets, but we're, we're not talking about potential. You know, that's like buying a house, saying, oh, well, that, that's an asset. Potentially, yeah, but Remember, we're using Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. We're using his definition. It's very simple. The thing is either making you money right now or it's costing you money right now. We're not talking about potential one day if you sell it, and depending on what the market is bearing at the moment, and now 15 years, 30 years later. No, we're talking right now. This thing, this old minivan is, is helping me make money right now. Those two on doing anything. So if you wanna learn more about how I'm using this thing to make money, I mean, 
this is this is an old minivan you can get one anywhere anytime very inexpensive and you can be using it as an asset so if you want to learn more about that if you're the type of person that wants to gain some knowledge some insight maybe you're just always interested in learning what you could do what opportunities are out there you just like to be in the know or maybe you're in a position where hey you you're ready to make a decision and here's an opportunity so you really want to investigate then stick around and i'm going to actually show you how i use this minivan as an asset and how i'm buying products that i can turn around and make money with so let's just go through we're going to go through all of the things that i bought at a regular store and i'm going to turn around and sell so you got these lance toasty peanut butter you got these lance uh variety packs those are 40 counts by the way you got these uh these little bites chocolate chip muffins these things should all be familiar to you okay you got these pop tarts you got olive garden salad dressing you've got uh pink himalayan sea salt you've got uh, Colgate charcoal infused toothbrushes. You've got uh, maximum strength acid reducers. You've got sleep aids. Let's look around and see what else we got. We got pretzel pieces. We got animal crackers. We got Look at we got Oster uh, uh, waffle makers. We got stove top stuffing. We got uh, chocolate chip cookies. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you in. I'm gonna we're gonna get at the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly how these things or making money and no it's not hard it's easy and you can get started today so hang in there okay guys you stay with the video and you ought to thank yourself for that because now now you're really going to see exactly what i got going on here and how i'm doing over twenty thousand dollars a month consistently and mind you I still have my regular full-time job. That's right. So you're not going to hear all this stuff about, oh, fire your boss, quit your job, be your own boss. Nope. I'm saying you can make this type of revenue. Now, this is revenue. This isn't what I keep, but I generate this type of revenue on a per month basis. I'm going to show you that. But the point is this. I do it while keeping my regular full-time job this is a side hustle for me even though i actually generate more money than i do on my full-time job as a truck driver i'm a local trucker by trade but and i don't mess around so you're not gonna you know i'm gonna talk to you about everything you need to do what I'm doing and I'm gonna talk about it right here right now so you're not gonna hear none of this oh click here for my free master class you don't need no master class why because I've been doing this since 2017 putting videos up on YouTube to teach you everything that you need to know so how I make the money is on Amazon okay now everybody knows what Amazon is you know what Amazon is because they're big they're everywhere okay uh, so I don't have to explain what a powerful force they are when it comes to shopping right I mean they're taking over everything so I'm not even gonna spend a lot of time on that when I say Amazon you already know what it is that's not the point though the point is not knowing what it is the point is knowing what you can do to generate some revenue okay and I can tell you guys right now I'm gonna try and keep this video brief and I'm gonna do it for two reasons I'm gonna to attempt to keep this video brief because number one I respect your time and because number two 
If you really want to get in and educate yourself, I've got over 120 videos that teach you everything soup to nuts, how I do it. Okay. So I don't need to spend a whole lot of time on this video, but let me be crystal clear. I am not making this video, or at least I am not attempting to make this video brief for the benefit of those who have short attention spans. That's not what this is about. In fact, if you don't have the attention span, if you can't pay attention long enough that you might learn some skill that could help you, then you really don't need to be here anyway. But because of the aforementioned reasons, I'm going to try and keep this brief. So let's get right into what I make. This is my Seller Central account. If you have an Amazon account, this is what it looks like when you get into your back office. And as you can see, today's date is April the 19th, the year is 2020. I'm gonna hit the refresh key. And you can see we actually, we're up now. We just, I didn't realize we made some more sales. We've sold 14 units today uh, for $361.04. Now again, that is gross revenue, okay? That's not profit, but you can see what we've done over the last seven days, last 15 days, and over the last, 30 days, excuse me, we've done $21,924.80 and we've sold over a thousand units. So think about that guys, me moving over a thousand units in, a, in the last 30 days. That's from today and go back 30 while keeping a full-time job. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. And you know, as I was saying before, if you're going to watch this video right now, you're doing yourself a favor, but understand exactly what you're doing. You're investing your time in order to learn a skill. OK, if you don't know how to do this, if you'd like to generate revenue like this, then you want to watch someone who knows how to do it or who who's doing better than you at it. Some of you watching this video know about Amazon. Some of you have accounts and you're not getting the numbers. You need to get back into it or you need to start doing things a little different in order to get different results. And one of the best things you can do that's different, that's gonna get you different results is to find someone to mentor you, someone that's doing it better than you. Listen and take action and start doing what they're doing. You, we've all heard success leaves clues. But now you got to do something with those clues. OK, so on that note, if you're really serious about this before we go any further, OK, do yourself a favor, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button if you like the video, because that helps other people, OK, who might benefit. So it helps with the YouTube algorithms and all that junk. But subscribe to the channel. Make the commitment right now. Where are you going to be this time next year? Click that subscribe button and I can tell you, you're going to be somewhere better. Hit the bell notification so that you don't miss the videos as they come out. And here's what I mean by that. OK, we come out with an uploaded video every Thursday and then we go live on Saturdays. And you won't miss that if you if you sign up, if you click to um, subscribe to the channel, it's free and you won't miss anything that's coming out because man, we cranking them out and I'm telling you, we're growing together. So look at, and, and let me show you what I mean by that. Okay. Um, now it, to learn everything about Amazon again, like I said, I'm going to try and keep this video brief, but I'm going to try to cover some things as we go along. Okay. So when you look right over here and you see that I have four unshipped orders that I need to confirm, those are the, the, the products that I'm going to ship myself. Trust me, I am not shipping over a thousand items myself, but there are some items that I do ship. That's called merchant fulfill. Most of the time we talk about fulfillment by Amazon or FBA. So we ship the products out to Amazon's warehouses. And when the, when the customer orders, Amazon takes care of everything, picking, packing, shipping, uh, customer service, accepting the payment, returns, all of that, okay? But sometimes we do it for different reasons, okay? 
And and then the main the, the main reason right now is due to COVID-19. They're not allowing us to ship in certain products. Let me give you an example. Now, if we click over here to see what I need to ship. Okay. If you look, you've got two curling wands and here Amazon will not allow us to ship those in because right now they're focused on what they consider to be essential items, right? But we wouldn't let that stop us. We had this sitting there. We we allowed, we offered it merchant fulfill. And get this, guys. This is the reason why you need to be watching the channel regularly. Just yesterday, okay, today is Sunday. Just yesterday on the live stream with the working class hustlers. That's what I call my subscribers because we are working class citizens and yet we we want more, so we hustle, okay? Right with the working class hustlers, we looked at this product, okay? This is the product right here. And we had it priced at $89. And watch what happens with this, because that's significant right there. And it was not selling. So here's what we did. We went out, we changed our price to $59.25. Before we did it, we did what I teach, which is how to use the Amazon revenue calculator. Okay. We put everything in. Look at this column shows you what you're going to make or lose. If you fulfill the item, if you ship the item, this column is if you can do FBA, which we talked about, if we can let Amazon do everything for us, we couldn't. So we look, we did this formula right here and look at, this is one that's ready to go. We're shipping it priority. It's going to cost us $7.64. So you see where we put that in here. Now, if you open this up, you could put in your storage fees. We didn't have any, right? Because it wasn't sitting in Amazon's warehouse. We got another video that explains their storage fees. There is no labor because I'm not figuring out what my labor is. Some people get, get that granular with it. If you want to do that, I'm not even counting the packing materials. Look at this. I mean, I'm using a box that that's free from the postal service, okay? And this, here's the product. Here's what the what the product looks like, right? This is the curling wand, okay? Drop it in this box. The box didn't even cost you nothing, okay? Weighs two pounds, cost you seven dollars and sixty four cents to get it in, and look it. This is how much we make, $16.37. That's 27, uh, that's a margin of almost 28%, right? R remember what we what we showed you in terms of uh, what I'm doing per month on Amazon? Take 27% of that. You do the numbers and you see, and then you can you can ask yourself, is this something that you possibly want to pursue? Because I'm telling you, it's not rocket science. Everything you need to know is right in these in these videos that I'm putting out and you can be doing it too. OK, trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. Look at the rank on this. Think about what I am telling you. I just put these products. I lowered the price yesterday. And then today they both sold and look at the rank. Now we talk about product rank in the other videos. I'm not going to get into it now, but I'm just going to go as far to say a lot of people, when they, when they look at, at the rank and what that is, for, if you don't know, Amazon has a ranking system as far as how popular a product is or how well it sells, the lower the number, the better it sells. So in the category of per beauty and personal care, the best selling product is number one and it just keeps going up, up, up. And some people don't want to go over say 50,000 or a hundred thousand. You see how fast this sold? Learn something. And this goes to some of the people I'm specifically addressing those that know how to sell on Amazon. that know what rank is. This video is for you too. Learn something from that. Just put this available yesterday during the live stream. Jim, put a link right on the on the page if you can. 
or, or if, you, if Jim can't do that, look down in the description and watch that video that we just did, that live stream yesterday. I showed what we were going to do here and boom, done deal. So let's move on to the next one. Okay. Um, now this, you saw it in the van. This is a product that I bought um, yesterday at a store that I have in my area, okay? Now everybody has in their area, they have a discount store. Mine is called Ollie's. Now I'm in Pennsylvania, but look at, you can see the, um, the sticker here has the price on there. I already know these sell good. And if you follow my channel, you know they sell good because twice you've seen me talk about these right on the um, the video. And I, I happened to be in Ollie's yesterday, saw these, grabbed them all because I knew they were going to move. And see, that's the beauty of sticking with it, guys. You get better and better. Your skill set, you, you're honing your skills. And before you know it, you in and out like a burglar. The lady, I didn't realize she was watching me. She had it down. I was out of there in 27 minutes and didn't even realize how quick I was in and out like a burglar. You know what I'm saying? Like the burger joint, in and out. But look it. Okay. Here we go with with the um, with the calculator again. Okay. We're gonna sell it for $65.99. Now, mind you. Uh, we used to sell it for like 45 or something and we'd make like 12 bucks, but look at what we're doing. Here's the listing on Amazon. We're going to click right here to see what the competition is doing. Look at, you see this 47.35? Wait a minute. Let me get my fat head out of, this, out of the way here. You see this 47.35? Don't be fooled by that. He's adding $17.58 shipping. Okay. Um, we're going to jump in at $65.99 and look at the rank on that. Remember what I was telling you about rank? This product is going to be gone. Now I'm shipping that in. Uh, and for those of you who do Amazon and know that certain products aren't being allowed to be shipped in, they... They continue to open that up. I didn't think, I thought I was going to have to convert this to Merchant Fulfilled and I didn't have to. So, so yeah, and we'll make $21.19. You're talking about a 39, almost 40% profit margin on that product. Okay. So now we'll move on. This is something else uh, I found at the store. Now, mind you, this is a three pack. You know, a lot of times, now I sell a lot of grocery. Those who, that follow my channel, you know, I love grocery because that gives you replenishables, products that you can continue to send in over and over and you build your replenishables. You know, it's just like baseball. These are your bunch, your base hits, your singles, your doubles. These are like your home runs. But if you get a lot of these, You'll win the pennant, baby. Trust me. If I can do this, you can do this. My method works. Just follow me on this. Okay? That's good rank right there. Now, look at. Well, here. Actually, I showed you the product in the mystery van. And you can see the price on that. 99 cents. So if there's a if there's a pack of three, you're talking three dollars. Right. And this is where you put your data. This is the price that it's going to sell at. This is what it cost me roughly to get it into Amazon because we're using Amazon's UPS account. When you do this, guys, that's where you where you save money. Oh, let me show you. Let me try that again. Sorry about that, guys. But no. This is the price that we're going to sell it at. This is what it cost us to get it into Amazon's warehouse. This is the cost of the product. And this is what you're going to make. Now, 
I think we got one more. And again, we found this product at Ollie's as well. And you can see the price on there. And here we go again. You got a pack of three, okay? Now, if you're wondering, if you're wondering how am I in the store figuring all of this stuff out, I'm doing it right here on my phone. Amazon has an app that you can use and look at. This is what it looks like. And you can kind of figure out what your cost is going to be and everything. And we got videos that teach all of that, but you're, you're right in the store looking at products. You, all you do is scan the barcode and you're out the door. So moving right along. So this is a pack of three and you saw the price on that. So three of them are going to cost us $5 and 67 cents. And this is what we're going to sell the product at. This is what's going to cost us to ship to Amazon. And this is what we're going to make. Okay. And we'll get back. There's a little something that, there's something else I want to show you about that. But remember, what I'm showing you is called retail arbitrage. Now, arbitrage is where you go out to a store and you pay retail price, and then you can turn around and sell that product for retail on Amazon. And in a lot of cases, a lot of cases, you can sell it for much, much more. Don't worry about the reasons why, okay? You're not the shopper. You're the business person. Get out of your feelings. Get into the numbers. And that is how you're going to be successful. It's going to take a while. You're going to have to fight it because you're making it personal. And you're saying there's no way that I would spend that kind of money on a box of cereal or whatever it may be. It's not about you. It's about learning business. It's about learning what the market will bear. Okay. So remember, what I'm telling you is this, when you're going out to retail stores and you're buying stuff and you're selling it, that's retail arbitrage. But what if you don't have the time? What if you don't want to uh, spend the time to go out there retail? It does take time and energy, okay? It demands time. I mean, it's sucking up time like a sponge you tend to get a lot of the better deals though because you can come across deals that everybody doesn't have access to. So both retail as well as online arbitrage have their pros and cons. So now we're gonna look at how to get, how do you find products online? Now watch this guys. You can go to a store like, like Walmart or Target or Best Buy or Kohl's and you can just shop around and then you can take, find that product on Amazon and, you know, kind of do the numbers. That's the long way. That's the hard way. You can do it. I have videos out there to teach you to do it that way. But that is the hard way. Now, remember, I'm going to, I'm going to teach you how to work smarter but you still have to work hard. You still got to work. But I use a software called Tactical Arbitrage. Uh, I don't own it. I didn't make it. I just use it. It's very popular. It works. It does all, and I mean all, of the heavy lifting for you. Notice I said heavy lifting. You still got to do some lifting, but it will make it so much easier for you. And it puts the work in front of you It'd be, put it like this. Let's say you wanted to dig for gold, okay? 
here, I think this might be a uh, this might this example might actually bring it home. And I just thought of it. Let's say if you wanted to mine for gold or actually, no, you're going to dig. So that means you got the shovel. But you need to know where to dig for your goal, whatever you determine is the goal. OK. Where are you going to dig for it? If you don't know, then you just got to go out there and dig and dig and dig. And maybe you find something if you don't. You just dig and dig and dig. What if you had something that would tell you, hey, the gold is here in this area. Now, you still got to dig for it, but now you know you're digging in the right place. There is no software that's going to dig the gold for you. But if you got software that's going to show you where the gold is, now you know you're digging in the right place. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's invaluable. So here's the software. You just go to tacticalarbitrage.com and you can look at the pricing. And nine times out of 10, you would take this package. I take the full suite because I do other things. I'm a little more advanced, but you can get a seven day free trial. Cost you absolutely nothing. Even smarter, what you could do is sign up under me for your free trial. Don't cost you nothing. Look down in the description. And now let's get into... Um, what that looks like okay so I wasn't showing my screen so let me show you again I'm bad about that but let me show you like I was saying nine times out of ten you're gonna take this one right here it's gonna cost you 89 a month it's worth it's what it, you you can't they don't charge enough when you see what this what this software does for you it's, it's absolutely amazing, but you don't have to pay a dime. You can get it for absolutely free. This is the one I take. I take the full suite. You don't need that. Okay. And you can try it for free, but if you sign up under me, you'll get an extra three days. Okay. So now let's get into, let me show you exactly some examples, some real life examples of how this software can help you out here now let me see hold on guys let me find what I wanted to show you here well you only need a couple I'm not gonna take take up much more of your time so check it out this is what the software looks like once you have your results okay so this, co this column shows the store that the product is at. You choose the category that you want to work in, okay? But in this case, we're searching in grocery and gourmet, and all we did, we told the software, look, find me the top selling products in grocery and gourmet and bring me the results. I want to make at least this amount of money and you show me the stores that can get me the products that meet my criteria. That's why you see this same product at Websterant. You see this same product at Walmart because if the system can find it at different stores, it's going to show you the different stores and look at the data that it's giving you. This is how much it costs at the, at the, the site you're sourcing. This is how much it should be selling for on Amazon. This is what your profit would be. This, would, this is what your gross return on investment would be okay uh, a lot of times it may not be uh, completely all of your data may not be populating like for for instance this isn't showing you any monthly sales but you'll know with the with a 30 day rank of 35 I told you the lower the number the better it's selling for whatever reason this isn't populated properly, but th this product is flying off the shelves. Okay. Uh, and you get the rank and you get the number of sellers and all kinds of stuff. So here's what you do. Once you land on something that you might want to delve into. Okay. And you get a keeper chart. If you don't know what that is, we got videos on how to, how to get into that. All that is, is, is just more data to help you make a decision. 
Okay. So on jet.com, there should be some easy Mac. And you see how I hovered over that so that it could show me everything should be an 18 count. And then this one is an 18 count at jet. You should be able to get that for $7 and 29 cents. It should be selling on Amazon for $24.99. Let's see. So all you do is click right there. Okay. And there it is available. Now you got to make sure it's going to let you add it to your cart. It will. And it's at the price that they're saying, right? Now, is it really selling for $24.99 on Amazon? You click on that link, you're right there. Now, what do we say? $24.99, and what do you see? Three from $24.99. You click on there, and what do you notice? Actually, there's nobody selling it fulfillment by Amazon. So you could probably sell it higher than these two guys. You just got to look and see. Uh, well, this one is free shipping. They're all free shipping, but you're going to have an advantage if you actually ship this product in and let Amazon do everything for you, right? And if you did, you're going to make a little bit over six bucks. You'll get a 68% re uh, return on investment, which is very good. You got um, the rank is excellent like i said actually the rank is only 301 in grocery and gourmet i mean that that rank is fantastic okay but there you have it i'll give you another example same website jet because when you start putting together uh basically when you're doing your shopping you usually kind of pick a store and then you stick with that store. That way you, you get enough products in your cart so that you can get the free shipping. Same thing. Pringles. Okay. Uh, should be a 27 count box. 27 count box. Is it on the site for $12.73? Yes, it is. Okay. Is it on Amazon for $34.45? No. At least... Look at that rank at only 287, man, they're killing it. But let's get into it and see what's going on here. You notice nobody's selling it FBA. OK, look at you see this tan line when we go across the keeper chart. Amazon normally has this product in stock, but all of a sudden they don't. And that's when your price starts going up. Now, I don't know if they're going to have it again. Let's look at this one. See now here, this is a safer bet right here because Amazon has not had it in a long time. So now's the time to jump in on it. So you see, that's just an example of how you're using your tools, you know, to make decisions. Let me show you another thing you can do just to give you an, another example of how you can use your tools. Now, if you have tactical arbitrage, then you can use a uh, an extension and all an extension is it's what's allowing this to show on my screen this chart that chart normally you don't see that when you're on Amazon right those are extensions now if you click on the hummingbird uh, extension that comes as part of tactical arbitrage and now look it now you got more information and you can go into what's called tactical edge and watch what happens. It's going to load even more data so that you can make a decision. OK, look at here's the one person that has that product. And now you can see how many they have in stock that may have a, an, an effect on whether or not you buy the product. Estimated monthly sales, 14. You know, there's all types of data that you can use. And we talk all about that. OK, guys, but um, what you want to do from here, if you're really serious about this, I highly recommend, highly recommend that you continue watching. Make sure you subscribe. We got a whole series right out here on YouTube that teaches you everything about this software, Tactical Arbitrage. This is what's going to change the game for you. 
because if you're serious about this, you got to be you got to be making the sales. You, I mean, you got to be buying the products. The inventory is the lifeblood of the business. And when you learn how to buy properly, game over, game over, guys, you can do this. It's not hard at all. So get into that next video and I'll see you there. Click here to watch the next video and become an expert at tactical arbitrage.